Hello everyone. All right, I'm gonna do a breakdown of uh, the Brooklyn Nets game versus Grizzlies. The last quarter, I think about the last quarter of the game, and I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go over a defensive breakdown of what I saw and the things that I saw with Brooklyn Nets on the defensive end. They're not gonna they're not gonna make it. They're not gonna beat these really top teams like Grizzlies. That, that really execute their offense because their rotations are not good. Clark with a second and third effort. Clark to Bain. Yeah. Nelson wide open. To Anthony Nelson rattles in the three-pointer. See, those are breakdowns right there. Those are defensive breakdowns that shouldn't happen. With a second and third effort. Those are defensive breakdowns. Clark to Okay, so right here, Patty Mills is guarding 22. Bang. Okay, it's a pick and roll right here. This guy right here sets a pick on Patty Mills. Okay, so this guy, he should be, he should show and go. So Patty Mills should be chasing him down. This guy right here should be showing, and he should come up to help a little bit and drop back. He should be dropping back to get back on this guy, his his own man. So let's see what happens. Melton wide open. Let's do this. Go back. And finally goes down. Go back and see Brandon what Clark with the second and third effort. Okay, Mark to Bain. See that? Look at that. Melton wide open. Anthony Melton rattles in the three-pointer, his sixth of the game. See, that was excellent team Great. play. Rotation breaks 23 for Melton. Irving on the drive. Gets inside. Banks at home. 38 for yeah. Kyrie Irving. Well, here's our transition. Okay, though. Bain comes the other this way. This is transition right here. This is transition defense right here. This big is running. He's out running. I don't know what he was doing. Number 23. He needs to really work on his defense, for real. He's trying to guard him, but then this guy is open. That means Kevin Durant will have to drop to here to stop this play, which leaves this man open, so the rotations are really off. They might speed inside for the slam. Oh, Clark throws okay. it down, misses three. Timeout, Brooklyn. And I know, look, you say, well, Durant's got 33 points. But he's making the one oh, no, no. looks on the steal. Memphis wanna force that nice speed inside. Clark throws it up. Transition defense. And the lead back up to five for Memphis. Okay. Bean takes a pass. Back to Jones. Five on the shot clock. Bane yeah. gets a good look. Three-pointer. It's good. Well, let's go back with see what happened right there. Five for Memphis. Okay, just as a breakdown. Okay. Okay, I don't know what he he came up to, to guard him, but Kyrie was already right here. Takes a pass. So, so now where is he going? I don't have no clue. <laughs> he, he runs in the middle. Why? I don't know. I don't know what's going on right here. So this is a pick and roll right here, right? He probably should have been right here. Kyrie should be on this guy. He's he's all home. But look at this the defense. Look at his defense right here. He got his back turned. He can easily, if he wanted to, back door. If he wanted to, look at his back is turned. And the way his position of the body is, he shouldn't be positioned that way. Where he you never should have your back turned towards your man. Never. You never should have your back turned to towards your man. For, at all. In basketball, he should be turnt like ball man. He should be able to point to his man and ball. He got his back turnt to his man. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Let's see. Okay, so he passes over here because he's open. This guy is in dead man zone. I don't know why he's right there. But there it is. Another, and you know, this guy is open. It's kind of weird. Shot clock, Bain gets a good look. Three-pointer. It's good. There it is. 
As for Edwards, the rookie in here, here in crunch time for Brooklyn, guarding Jones. Bark gives it back. They fumbles it now. Let's go back to that. Let's Pointer. Go it's good. As for Edwards, the rookie in here, here at crunch time for Brooklyn. Okay, here come a pick and roll. All right, here come a pick and roll. He should be, this guy should be fighting over the pick. Durant should be holding him off until he should be here, and but he should not leave. Let's see. Guarding Joe. Okay. So Durant is right here. Jones. He's right here on his man. But look at Kyrie. Kyrie is not in a good position defensively, in my opinion. He should be more squared, not this way, because now – He's going to be coming coming this way, and he got to try to – he should already be facing ball and man already. So when he comes – because he didn't even know he was coming. He had a kind of had his eyes – he had his back turned a little bit. Let's see. Martin is back. They fumbles there it now, is. fires away. Another three. Yeah. Yeah, they got to work on their – they got to really work on their defense. They really have to work on their defensive rotations on the half court, big time, big time. Oh, if I was Steve Nash, I would do a defensive practice working on defensive rotations off pick and rolls, how to guard the pick and roll a lot better, and how to rotate. It's mainly off of the pick and roll. To me, all they have to do is switch everything because if you notice, most teams don't go in the post. I mean, you do have uh, some bigs that roll to the basket, but you know, but they don't. They don't never get. They don't usually pass them the ball in the post. Sweet. I don't know. Okay, here go another pick and roll. Okay, Patty Mills should be coming over the top. I don't know. This is this is like defense one on one on a pick and roll. When you got a pick and roll, he should be trailing him, going around. He should be not. He should he should be hedging, but not all the way. Just hedge a little bit, and then we go back to your man. That's all you have to do. It just hedge. You're just hedging. Once once he come right here, you're hedge. You kind of back up at the same time, hedge, and then go back to your man. Don't. Now look, why was Patty Mills on him? So they just basically switched. So if they're if the if the defensive principles are switch. Okay, you switch, but look how look how he's playing them. I don't know. It just it just don't look really fluent. Their defense don't look fluent. But let's see what happens. Okay, now it look like a this guy is gonna come around. This guy right here. I don't. I think this is Kyrie's man. That's what it looks like. Yep. So <clears throat> Patty Mills switches. Okay. So this guy should be right here. Pulls back. Okay, so good switch. Bane. But Baines. Baines still able to get a shot. Fires three pointer. <laughs> okay. So now I think to me, Patty Mills a defensive liability out there. That's what it looks like. It looks like Patty Mills in the in the crunch, even though he can shoot. But if you notice at the end of the game, they weren't even hit. He wasn't even touching the ball. It was mainly Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant shooting the ball. So he's basically out there just as a decoy, to be honest. But but on the defensive end, he's he's a liability. He's a liability. Now with 20 points, it's an 11 point he's Memphis lead. Here we go again. Here we go another. Oh, this is the same thing. Back game catches fire. Three pointer. Oh, God. A 14-point lead for the Grizzlies. Let's see the next play. The way the game is going. Not only with the misses, by Brooklyn, but also the fourth turnover. Irving on the floor. Okay. Well, here we go. Point seven assists. Here come a pick and roll. Irving. Okay, here come another pick. And you know what? They've been doing all these pick and rolls on Patty Mills, if you noticed. If you noticed that, they've been, they've been seeking out Patty Mills each and every time. Have you noticed that? Let's watch it again. It's going, not only with the misses by Brooklyn, but also the fourth turnover. Irving, time to pull up. All right, flip. 40 points. Okay. okay. Patty Mills is guarding him. But they're coming to pick him. They're picking They're they're picking on this guy right here. Seven assists. 
for Kyrie Irving. Okay, here we go. What's gonna happen? Okay. So look like Patty Mills is switching on the big. Okay, let's see Honestly. how that goes. Let's see how that goes. Okay, they rotate. <laughs> Boom. Okay, they in good rotation. Patty Mills is on this big man. See, this big man not even trying to go down. This guy, he not even trying to take him down in the post. This guy actually should be bringing him down to the post somewhere. Like, he should be coming down to the rim, throw it up over the top, boom, layup. But he's not even looking. They're not. This big man is only a pick, uh, like the guy that's picking. Ah, hold on. But also the fourth circle. Irving, time to pull up. 40.7 assists. Kyrie Irving. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Okay. See how it goes. Okay. Patty Mills on the bid. They drive strip by Brown. That's really bad defense. I don't know how he got it was able to get in the lane. That's my 40.7 assists. Kyrie Irving. On his birthday. That's bad defense. They drive strip by Brown. Right there bad for Clark. Defense. And Clark has made some big. That's bad defense. No way. Point seven assists. Kyrie Irving on his birthday. But okay, this is a bad closeout. Did he just go straight past? Go right through, and look at look where Patty Mills is behind this guy. He, well, that is Patty Patty Mills to me. You you've been in the league too long to play a, a big man this way. When this guy can easily cut to the basket and go cut to the basket for a layup. He should be right here. Patty Mills should be right here. Right here. If anything, he should be right here. Not on the side of him. It's, I don't know. I don't know why he's right here. I think he's expecting him to set a pick and roll. But still, even if he set a pick and roll, you shouldn't be on the side. He should be right here. That's not a good D at all. Okay, look. See? That's what I'm saying. Now, look. If he wanted to... This guy could have easily passed right here for an easy dime dunk. Because he got him sealed. Patty Mills, this is bad defense, bro. Bad D. Bad D. Bad D. It's bad defense all the way around. Nets got to work on their defense. This is bad defense. No way you should be behind. Come on, Patty. You've been playing basketball too long. You need to get in front of that. You should be behind that. You can't like let a guy seal you like that so he can get an easy. No. Patty Mills is a defensive liability, uh, Steve Nash. In the crunch, you need somebody else in place of him. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just telling you what I see. In the in the crunch time, he need he don't need to be in the game. There need to be somebody else that knows how to play solid D. Period. He drives strip by Rabbit right see? there for Clark. And Clark is see what happened? And, and what happened? 40.7 assists for Kyrie Irving. Okay. On his and then see? And then what happened? He drove in. Birthdays. Look, and then he misses. See, if he was in front of him, he could have boxed him out and got that rebound. Look, okay. So watch what happens. Bowen was able to strip it, but since Patty Mills is behind him, he should be already right here. He should be right here, Patty Mills. But look, look what happens. He drives strip by Brown, right there yeah. for Clark. And Clark. Right there. 40.7 for Kyrie Irving on what his birthday. He drives. Look at that. Patty Mills, man, got it. He stripped it. Since Patty Mills wasn't in front of him, he got the ball off the strip and put it back up. Strip by Brown, strip. right there for Clark. That's Patty Mills' fault. Patty Mills is a defensive liability in the crunch. Steve Nash, I hope you watched this video. Look at the look at what happened. Look at how Patty Mills is playing out there. He's not playing good position basketball on, on the switches. You, you got to either teach him or something. But NBA pros, you already know that. Patty Mills, you're an NBA pro. You've been playing with Stan, the Spurs for years. You should know the defensive principles. You can't you can't be behind a big man like that. If he was in front of him, putting his his butt against his legs, that wouldn't have happened. Patty Mills would have got that ball. See, I say a bucket that 
could have made the, the Nets win. It's all about defense. And all those buckets count at the, the end. Jackson on him. Goes okay. inside. Ball Durant scores. Back falls away. Shot is good. Okay. Uh, you still got to be able to make a stop. You got to get a stop, though. Here we go. Look. Here we go. Patty Mills behind him again. Again. Behind by three and then responded. Look at that. Here are the four. Jackson cuts a three. Darren Jackson from downtown. Okay. okay, well, that's enough for now. I'm going to spend 15 minutes doing a breakdown on the Nets and what they need, really need to work on. Even if they had, even if when, when Kyrie is fully playing all the games, they still got to work on their half court defense, especially if it's a close game. And when you got a, a team that know how to execute offense, pick and roll offense, you, Nets got to work on their pick and roll offense big time. Patty Mills, he got he needs to really work on his too. Every actually everybody, not just him, but to me, in my opinion, if I'm coaching, I probably would not have him in the la in the, in the game at the end because he's a defensive liability. Because he don't he's not. He's not able to uh, handle the bigs on, on those pick and rolls.